Rocky was waiting at the station for Thomas to arrive. He was taking him on a Masham's hunt. Pepper and George arrived. What are you doing? asked Pepper. I'm going on a Masham's hunt, replied Rocky. That sounds like fun. Can we come as well? asked Pepper. That would be great, answered Rocky. Here comes Thomas now. Thomas arrived and they all hopped on board. Skittles, cried Pepper. Can we jump in? Yes, replied Rocky. There may be a mashing hidden in there. So they all climbed up the side and jumped in. They had great fun with Skittles. Pepper thought she'd found a mashing, but it was only George. Suddenly, Rocky did find something. It was indeed a masham, and he pushed it to the side of the pool. Once the masham was out of the pool, Rocky began to open it. Inside was a Rocky masham. Rocky was delighted. Hop the Rocky Masham onto the truck and then all hopped on board to search for the next Masham. They were steaming along nicely when Thomas suddenly started to have problems. He made an awful noise and smoke started to appear. Are you okay? asked a concerned Rocky. I will be when I get a mechanic to fix me. But I'm afraid my wheels won't move. I can't take you any further, said a sad Thomas. As Thomas's driver was making the call, George noticed a pile of bricks close by. Rocky came to take a closer look. This is great, he said. We can recycle these old bricks into a car. Oh yes, smiled Pepper, that will be fun. Let's start building. And so the three of them began to build a car. smiled Rocky. Let's see if it works. And it did. They thanked Thomas for his help. Thomas was very impressed with their car. Get better soon, they cried and off they went. I can see a mansion, cried George, by the trees. So they stopped the car and all got out. Is, said Pepper, you were right, George. They began to open it. Inside was another Rocky. Would you believe it, smiled Rocky. And they popped him into the car with the other Mash and Rocky. I think we have time for one more, said Rocky. Let's try the beach this time. So off they went to the beach. They could 
see a Masham by the beach huts, so they all got out excitedly. <laughs> Another Rocky? asked George. <coughs> Probably, answered Rocky. With our luck it will be. But when they opened it, it wasn't Rocky, but Zuma. <coughs> it's a mash and Zuma, cried Rocky. He loves water. Let's take him for a paddle. So they all had a paddle in the sea before popping Zuma onto the back of the car with the other mash -ums. What a great day, smiled Rocky. Let's go home now. Thanks for watching our video. Here's another one you may have missed. Peppa Pig and her friends were having a lovely time at the local park. Zoe Zebra and Rebecca Rabbit were enjoying the slide. It was their favourite. George was watching his boat sail around the duck pond. What fun this is, he thought to himself. Danny was on the zip wire. Whee, this is great, he shouted. The roundabout was Peppa and Deli's favourite. They just loved going round and round and round again. Meanwhile, on the other side of the town, Princess Sophia I was travelling aboard Thomas. He was taking her to join her friends at the park. I can't wait to see them, she cried excitedly. Peppa, George and Danny had climbed to the top of the treehouse to see if they could see Sophia arrive, while Zoe and Ellie were having a lovely time on the seesaw. Suddenly, they heard Thomas's whistle. They're coming, said Peppa excitedly. Sophia arrived and climbed off Thomas. Hello, she smiled at her friends. It's so good to see you. Thanks for the ride, Thomas. No problem, said Thomas, and he steamed off. Let's go on the roundabout first, said Danny. Great idea, said Sophia, and off they went. What about the slide next, suggested Peppa. Definitely, agreed Sophia. And Susie joined them. Come and see my boat, cried George. OK, smiled Sophia. It's a very nice boat, she told George, and George smiled. Just then, they heard a van approaching. It's Kitty with her new snack van, cried Susie. Kitty parked her van and opened the side, displaying all her delicious treats. Everyone gathered round, and Peppa was the first to choose something. Please could I have an ice cream, she asked politely. Of course, smiled Kitty and handed her one. George was next and he fancied some popcorn. Sophia also had an ice cream and so did Candy. With their delicious treats, the friends all sat down to enjoy them. Kitty then said goodbye to everyone and closed the van. But when she tried to start the engine, it made a terrible noise. What's that noise? inquired Peppa, Sophie and Danny. It's Kitty's van. It won't start, cried Sophia. Don't worry, Kitty, said Danny. I can call my grandpa. He's a mechanic. I'm sure he'll be able to fix the problem. Oh, thank you, said Kitty. That's very kind. Danny called his grandpa and very soon they could hear his truck motoring towards them. Grandpa Dog got out and went over to Danny. Now, what appears to be the problem, he asked. Kitty told him and Grandpa Dog proceeded to the van. He had a look at the engine and then said, Oh yes, 
I can fix that. It wasn't long before Grandpa Dog announced to Kitty that the engine was working again. Oh, thank you, said a relieved Kitty. How much do I owe you? she asked. Well, smiled Grandpa Dog, I would love one of your delicious ice creams. Of course, she replied, and went to make him one. Lovely, he smiled, and was soon back in his truck returning to his garage. Kitty then followed in her van. Just then, Sophia heard Thomas's whistle. It's time for me to go home now, she said to Pepper, Danny and George. I've had a wonderful time. Let's meet up again soon. And she climbed aboard Thomas and off she steamed back to her palace. Thank you for watching our story. To see more, click on any of these clips. And don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.